In the M-Teaser 3D system, a clump passaging method is recommended to ensure consistent growth rates and minimize the risk of karyotype abnormalities that can be associated with single-cell passaging methods. The M-Teaser 3D clump passaging method consists of pre-treating the HPSC aggregates with a non-enzymatic reagent, gentle cell dissociation reagent, and then mechanical dissociation by passing the aggregates through a 37 micron reversible strainer to generate small clumps of ideal size to seed the next passage. When the HPSC suspension cultures are ready to passage, assess the aggregates under the microscope. Aggregates should be less than 400 microns in diameter and should display approximately spherical shape, edges that are clear but not perfectly smooth, even coloring with slightly darker centers, and a mottled appearance. Shallow craters or pock marking are normal and are a sign of maintenance of PSC marker expression. Collect the aggregates from the suspension culture vessel using a serological pipette. The bore size on most serological pipettes is large enough to avoid disrupting the aggregates. Filter out the non-aggregated single cells using a 37 micron reversible strainer. Place the reversible strainer into a 50 milliliter conical tube with the arrow pointing up. The aggregates are collected on the strainer. The single cells flow through. Flip the reversible strainer containing the aggregates onto a new 50 milliliter conical tube. Rinse the aggregates into the new tube using warm GCDR. You can tap the strainer lightly to release the aggregates if needed. Visually confirm that all aggregates have been rinsed from the filter. Flip the strainer onto a third new 50 milliliter conical tube and set aside. This will be used again later in the protocol. Incubate the aggregates in GCDR for two to six minutes, undisturbed. The optimal incubation time may be cell line dependent. During the GCDR incubation, the aggregates will partially dissociate, preparing them for the next step of mechanical dissociation. Centrifugation may be needed to help settle the aggregates. Slowly remove the GCDR using a serological pipette. Leave approximately 0.5 milliliters to avoid removing any of the aggregates. Add M-Teaser 3D seed medium with 10 micromolar Y27632 rock inhibitor. Aspirate the aggregate suspension using a serological pipette. It is recommended to work with small volumes in larger pipettes to control the amount of shear to which the aggregates are exposed. For larger volumes, a stepwise approach may be needed. Place the pipette tip directly onto the strainer membrane. The pipette should be vertical. Ensure that there is no air bubble at the tip of the pipette. slowly pass the partially dissociated aggregates through the strainer. The flow rate should be approximately 0.5 milliliters per second. Maintain direct contact between the pipette and the strainer at all times. If the strainer becomes clogged, stop dispensing and slide the pipette laterally on the strainer. Be sure to maintain direct contact. Repeat as needed until all aggregates have been passed through the strainer. This mechanical step will generate HPSC clumps of approximately 50 to 100 microns preceding the next passage. Perform a count to determine the cell concentration. Seed the next passage using M-Teaser 3D seed medium supplemented with 10 micromolar Y27632. For more information about the passaging protocol, including recommended volumes for various sizes of culture vessels, 
please refer to the MTeaser 3D Technical Manual on our website or contact us at techsupport at stemcell.com.